Hey everybody, welcome back to my Rogue Tech series, Infiltration. So it's been about a week since I recorded. I'm trying to remember what I did at the end of the last episode. We moved planets, we're at Tiber now. Um, and I don't remember 100% what I did. Let's go to the mech bays real quick, just so I can refresh my memory here. So I know we lost our Gauss rifle. And I think, yeah, we did an LRM upgrade in place of that with three ER, ER mediums. Okay, I remember that. I know I added the gunnery um, modules in the head, so the ones that we had taken for salvage. Uh, we got the Artemis 3 system. Oh, right, yeah, that's right. Um, I think it was Fist of Doin that was mentioning the Artemis 3 will work. The 4 won't work with the systems, but the 3 will um, with the streaks. So we got that installed. We have got our streaks installed on here. We added an ER small. Because um, we took off, I think, two of the jump jets out of this. Uh, the flea was upgraded. We got the range finder on here. Now, the Guardian ECM, I don't know. I don't think we have to click to use this. Um, Fist of, once again, Fist of Door mentioned a few things that I could be doing that I should be paying attention to. So we're going to have a look at our mechs once they're in combat if we need to. Um, I think it's shift clicking on the action or the movement button will give us options. I know, I think that works for the Beagle Probe. I'm going to check with the other stuff. Uh, somebody also mentioned too that I should be changing uh, who's piloting what mech. The, fire, or, yeah, the Firefly here. I'm going to call this the flea, guys. If I keep calling it the flea, you know what mech I mean. It's the Firefly. I should be switching the Firefly over to um, Helion because she's got much better gunnery. So that's probably going to happen this episode too. Um, and we're going to drop the LRMs probably on our next pilot down, which I cannot remember the names of everybody. I apologize. We'll get that memorized sooner rather than later, hopefully. Um, and then the Mongoose we've got set up. Um... I don't think we added anything to this guy. ER large, we got a medium. There's the, this is the guy with the beagle probe. So we're going to be making sure we we check this guy out as we're going to see if it actually uh, if we need to um, click that to activate. I'm pretty sure we do, but we'll see how it goes. Um, and then I know I I got upgraded the prana slightly. I believe I took a bunch of the machine guns out between by between the last episode and this one. Uh, this is going to be like eight more days to come back into service, so we're just going to have to wait and see what I did here. Uh, I know I was upgrading it to get it into combat. Um, I didn't want to run with all those machine guns because it's super overheating, plus the, the, the range is an issue. I think I added a couple medium lasers. I can't remember what I added to this guy. I know we had a few things left over that I put on here to get it more serviceable to get into combat, so we're running a full star rather than just a lance. Um, and I apologize too, I'm excessively tired right now, so um, if I don't uh, sound all that great, I'm going to try to get a bunch of episodes recorded today. I don't have a lot of time, uh, but I'm going to do as my, my uh, utmost to get more episodes recorded for next week. It's difficult for me to record during the week right now, so um, once again, it's just me at work now. We lost our, our uh, second editor, so it's uh, becoming more and more difficult for me to get uh, time where I'm not completely exhausted. So, uh, yeah, so I think Helion, moving her over, I think is a really good idea um, with Gunnery 6. So we're going to do that today. So let's have a look at the contracts. Now, I haven't gone in yet. We've got Noisy Neighbors. That was the one we had. Now, is there anything else? Yeah, there we go. Right, okay. So we got Stealing as a form of flattery, um, which is a capture base. Um, which is a possibility. Turn the tables. Now we're going to have to seriously look at our Seville options here. So that's right. I, I, that's what I wanted to do. Um, let's go to the bays real quick. Um, actually, let's go to uh, finances. I want to see what our gear, cargo gear, 37 units, 8,000. So it's not really a lot. Power, power conduits. So it's really the mech upkeeps. and pilot upkeep so we have to start looking at the most. Kit Fox, yeah. So, because we're almost at 600,000 per month here. 
Um, so we're going to have to take a really close look at what we've got, what we can sell uh, as scrap. Not so much um, to keep this cost down, because this really isn't that much at all, um, but more so to be able to make our financial report every month. I know we said we were going to jump out of here, but we're, I don't know if we'll have the C-bills to jump very far. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. So um, let's go to the contracts and check out what we've got. Um, witness protection is good salvage is an escort mission. Um, range for a dropship pickup. So this will probably be most likely two lances that we have to fight like fight off against. I think we'll be okay. I'm thinking time wise, but if we have a lance, another lance with us, it's going to take a while to get them sped up to where, where we are at. I don't know if that's going to happen. Noisy neighbors, that's a good initial payout. I think we really want salvage more than anything. Um, and that's two skulls too, so that's probably going to be a bit difficult. Let's try this one. We're going to go full salvage on it too. Hopefully we can pick up enough. This should should probably come close to covering our drop costs. So let, let's do this one. I'm not sure how long this mission is going to be, but let's just accept it. Go for it. Um, and yeah, so let's move. Oh yeah, Gundal. What a, what a great name. Um, let's move the Firefly up. Kid Fox down one. This is Dallas. God, every time I see, the, I know I've said this, every time I see the name Dallas, I just, I, I'm assuming that uh, uh, it's Dallas from Aliens. Or Alien, sorry, not the second version, but the first one. Um, and then the Mongoose, dun, 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 let's see what we got here. Is the ER large and two mediums and the Beagle probe. So that's our scout. We were using Goofy as the scout. So let's bring him, him back in now. Uh, Gundal will use his backup now. Will this show us here? It won't show us here. Okay. So uh, yeah, let's deploy and get this done. All right, here we go. Friendly units in danger. When are they not in danger? Um, which map is this? All right. Um, let's rock and roll. You got it. Okay. Um, just trying to get a handle on things here. So this is where they're going to be going. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, with this map, we normally would start back here and move up and liberate them, move them down over to here. But now we're coming from the other side. So that's interesting. Okay, fair enough. Now, do we have a half-decent path to get there? So it looks like it's along this way. No. Down through the valley here along up here and over looks like is probably the best way to go or we could just go um, down this way and set up as a support I'm not sure how we want to do this I know we hmm so these are our support units all right well let's move forward I think I'm gonna go uh, I want to go this way. I want to try and pull these units with me and go this way because I want them along here if we can uh, for the last confrontation. Now, I, I, the last confrontation, the mechs usually come from up here. I don't know if that's going to be the case particularly, but it might be. So let's get up along here, get in the trees. I guess I should have moved Goofy first with his, with his, uh, with his I'm going to call it a bat Beagle Actor Probe, but um, okay, let's get up here. Now I think what we'll do, God, the models look so much, look so good, um, except for the paint scheme on this guy. Now can we, no, is it shift click or control click? No, we can't do neither. I think we have to do it at the beginning of the combat turn. All right, these guys are moving up. That's great. Yes, Commander. All right. Um, 
Stay in the trees, please. Excellent. All right, Helion, you need to be right up there. Which we can't get, but we'll do it up to here. It's fine. It's running a little smoother today. I'm not sure why that is, but uh, could be the type of mission. Now, let's... Uh, Okay, it's control click on move. I don't have any components to activate, so that's fine. Uh, we can get down this way, which is great. Um, but let's just reserve. I want to see if we can activate Goofy's Beagle Active Probe. Uh, let's reserve again. Standing by. That's right, man. You just stand by. All right, Goofy. So we control click on here. No components. So. Does that mean the Beagle Active Probe is always active? I guess it does. Um, let's get to a position here. Have no doubt it will be done. You don't have a choice, buddy. You mean, I have no doubt it'll be done. Dude, at this point, you can't even run away. By. Shoot you right in the back, you run away. That's just not personal preference. It just goes without saying, man. You don't Commander. you don't join a unit like this and then just think you're going to just run away, man. I telling it, yes I am. So I think for the first several episodes, I want to just continue to uh watch these mechs move. I just enjoy it so much. I still don't know I I meant to look up how to remove these circles and I, I didn't. I apologize. I meant to do it over and over again. And, uh, you know, it can be well-meaning all you want, but never happened. All right, let's get up into here. You know, I used to laugh at Jenner 2Cs, but this mech, actually, the, the streaks isn't that bad. Oh, yeah, uh, sorry. Somebody also mentioned to it, and I apologize, I don't remember who it was, um, that I, my interpretation of the streaks was slightly different. I had thought that... Um, the streaks um, were like most SRMs where it rolls per missile um, to hit a location, right? So it would fire. Each missile has a percentage chance of hitting. Um, let's just reserve you. Um, each missile, ha missile has a percentage chance of hitting. And um, sorry, I'm having a hard time talking and moving here. Let's just get up into here. Uh, and then it would just roll for the location. I, I think somebody had mentioned that the streaks are all hit or not, so it rolls for the whole launcher system um, to see if it's going to hit, and then all the missiles hit. I don't, I'm not 100% sure that's accurate. Um, from what I remember, streaks were like the launchers either hit or they d will, like the missile will either hit or it won't fire. And I thought it would roll for each of the missiles, much like an SRM system. I could be wrong, um, but that was always my assumption. Um, that's something else I'm going to have to look into too. It could very well be that, that either the launcher hits um, and then it rolls per missile or something along that line. Uh, I'm trying to try and pay more attention in this battle. God, Helion, you're so slow. Um, I don't know if this Firefly is fast enough for healing. We may have to switch the weapon systems around and make the Firefly... Hey, I didn't call it Flea. Make the Flyer fly our missile unit. If we can, I don't know if it'll allow for putting missiles on this guy. It's too slow to be like have small and mediums like this because these are going to be out of range for the combats here. Look at that. Or maybe we switch them to ER mediums. That's the other possibility. Yeah, you guys just hang out back there. Alright. Um, I don't know if we're going to encounter anybody, but I don't. I just want to be safe here. But yeah, I'm going to have to look into that st the streaks. Because I could have sworn the last battle that we were fighting in, um, we had a couple of instances where only a couple of missiles would hit. But 
then I do remember a whole bunch of missiles hitting and I thought, oh, well, that's a lot for a low percentage chance to hit. So maybe it is correct. Maybe the whole launcher is either going to hit or miss. But we'll see how that see how that plays out today. Yeah, you guys just sit up there. Enjoy the day. Get some sun. Relax. All right. I think we need to wait till the firefly is a little closer. So this large circle is our Beagle Active Probe circle, the blue one, right? So that's trying to detect units. So Goofy goes first. Um, I think we're going to be clear here. Famous last words, all right. Uh, I'm going to push it and see what we get up here. We may have units over here. Nope. Okay. I mean, it's a, what, a one skull mission? So it can't be that bad. He says before his entire team is annihilated. All right, let's get you up here for support. Full now I'm assuming on this map, and I know what happens when you assume, you make an ass out of yourself and everybody else around you, um, that the mechs are gonna come here or the vehicles are gonna come for here. And supposedly there's like stuff under, oh, what was that? Supposedly, there were units under fire, but I don't see anybody under fire anywhere. Let's go full speed. I want to be together up here, I think. Oh, Piranha is moving up. All right, Helion. We do not have that great a speed. Yeah, the one jump jet is <laughs> just on the Firefly so we can get it into combat if it's stuck somewhere. I'm thinking I'm going to have to, uh, I think once again, I think it was Fist of Dorn that mentioned that uh, for the larger maps, um, it's um, there's a good chance that you can spawn in um, in a location where you can't move. So I'm thinking that having at least one jump jet on every unit is probably going to be a good idea. All right, Goofy. Um, I think we need to wait for everyone to be up here. So let's get you around over here. But I'm going to position you this way, just in case there are mechs over here. And it doesn't look like there are. But the Beagle probe really isn't detecting anything, which is good. Yes, Commander. Let's get you into here. We can get those ER mediums into play if we have to. Infiltrator. Um, let's come down over here. I still have to get used to the idea of using the jump jets because I always hate jumping and firing because your mech is so unstable when it lands, right? That's the thing I hate the most about it. All right, let's just move in there. I think we're going to activate next turn just to see what happens. Poke the bee's nest with a stick just to see what happens. All right. Um, you're going to activate Goof. Let's get up here. Oh, i got to stop calling him Goof. Goofy. Um, once again, I'm pretty sure that we're going to be going this way, so I'm just going to kind of move into a position here. I'm here. Dallas, let's get you back here. You got the LRMs too, so if thing do, things do pop up, at least we'll be able to see. Now the other thing I hadn't considered just after I moved you was that enemy mechs may spawn in south of where I'm looking right now, like along here. One thing I hadn't considered. Um, let's just get over here. I know we're grouping up right now, but we haven't encountered the enemy yet, so we'll just do that for now. 
Okay, here we go. They're making their way towards the extraction point now. Keep them alive. Can do. Can do. We got enemies in the way. Can do. All right, what do we got here? Spider? Yep, 30 tons. Pirate. Pirates are in this year. Okay, we're... Mobile HQ. Uh... That's kind of weird. All right, let's see what they do here. Oh yeah, so they also people also mentioned too that the uh, smoke is from internal combustion engines. So it's kind of a telltale sign what's use, what what uh, vehicles or mechs are using IC engines, which is fine. But I mean, I don't I don't know. Is it necessary? Yeah, not really. Not really. Oh, it looks like we got more than how many contacts do we have here? Got Chapa, Spider, and what else do we have? What's this? We have no idea yet. No idea yet. Come on, people. Figure it out. Yeah, so I guess if we're not uh, encountering enemies, things are... the uh, AI will be moving a lot quicker. Which I guess is good for missions like this. Would have been nice to have been fighting people right off the start here. Okay, well that locust is moving in. That's nice. All right, let's go, Goofy. Uh, we need to get that ER large into play here if we can. Um, where was that? Up here. Do we want to do that? Oh, we can get it from down here too. Not the optimal position to be in, but let's get that large firing. ECM protected. That's nice. Okay, ER large. Great chances to hit. Let's take them. And, of course, not hitting at all. We'll deal with that. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, yeah, sir. <laughs> I, I had an epiphany moment, moment last night, and I have to apologize. This is hilarious to me, and I, I know it's probably going to be a groan for everybody else, because it's really so obvious. Why do I have... Why can't I get up here? That's a back shot. Let's take it. Um, it's probably going to be a grown moment for everybody else, and that's fine. Um, oh, let's not take that. Let's just brace. Um, I, I know Fist of Dorn mentioned a couple times that you can shift click armor points. I'm you. And I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, yeah, I know. I mean, we've been able to do that for a while now, right? With the last version of Rogue Tech, you could shift click armor points. And I wasn't putting two and two together. And the two and two was that. Yes, you can shift click armor points, um, but I'm like, but then it's not rounded to, you know, by up by fives and it's going to wreck my OCD. But then I, and I'm, but in, in my head, I wasn't putting the two and two together, which is the actual weight of the mech. I'm slightly underweight with a few of my mechs, which means I can shift click armor points to be able to bring the weight up to the maximum weight. And I wasn't putting that together with what he was saying. It took me a while. To, I had an epiphany moment. I'm like, oh, that's what he's saying. <laughs> That's what he's saying. Derp or derp. Uh, let's just move back. These vehicles haven't really moved at all, so let's just not get too close. Nice. Um, so yeah, when we're back into Mech Bay, I'm going to have to take a look at them again and uh, bring the armor points up. Sorry, that's just me being a moron, and, you know, it'll happen a fair bit. Like I said, I've been extremely tired, and it's like, Things like that, I'm like, yeah, I know I can shift click armor points, but I, I didn't. He was referring to bringing the mech's weight up to a proper weight. Anyway, sorry about that. All right, how are we doing here? So, what is this other guy? We, it's just still a little blip, I guess. A little blip on the map. Come on, you guys. Move it up. Oh, it's a chopper. Ferret. Okay. So, 
So let's take the ambush position. Engaging jump jets. And now, buddy, you are not affected. Going to leave the ER small off to manage a little bit of heat, I think. Not much, but a little bit. And we're going to fire these. So I'm going to keep my eye open here to see what happens. So we got three 56% chance to hit. Yeah, I guess they all do hit. Okay. That makes sense now. Well, it doesn't make sense to me, but, I mean, whatever. Um, uh, yes. Let's get you up. I want to get those ER mediums into play. And let's drop some more missiles on this guy. Um... 18 on the chopper. It's got like no armor though, so let's go after the chopper. Alright, a few points. Meh. Stripped a bunch of armor anyway. Okay, we don't have fire maneuver yet. Can we get a shot at the other chopper over there though? We can if we're back here. I know technically Goofy is our scout, but let's bring him back because we've got the range. Let's bring him back here. Confirm. And see, what's the chance in the chopper? 47. We're going to take it see if we can finish this guy up. Um, yeah, sure, but we have to hit to do that. Negative damage. I repeat, negative damage. Why is Helion so slow? Come on, you guys. Anytime today. So there's a good chance there's another vehicle around, I think. Vehicle or mech, maybe back here that we haven't spotted yet. But you think these guys would have picked it up already. Maybe it is just the three. I don't know. So the shop is coming in. If it moves, that is. We're going to get Helion on that thing right away. We're going to sprint right up there. Going to have to examine the, like, the layout on this guy. I think when, once we get more ER weapons, I think maybe we'll just start swapping them out. But maybe we want to... I, I don't know. I was thinking of maybe pulling the ERs out of the, the Kit Fox, but I think we need them in there. Just because the LRMs are really complemented by the ER mediums. Calculating the helicopter's movement. Let's go. We need to get to the chopper. Let's go. Yeah, so this, the series my kid was in, uh, the Apple TV series, uh, it's called Ghost Rider. They're in episodes 17, 18, 19. Um, the series just started to air on November, November 1st. So we just picked up a Roku um, to be able to watch that. So it's going to be cool. Come on, move it. The other 10-part uh, series that they were in um, is called um, Emerald Code. And that one will be out soon enough. Okay, we're not going to be able to get in very well to get that other guy. So let's get in and go after this other chopper. Actually, this spider... Oh crap, that's the guy that gotta go. We're gonna fire on the spider. Here goes. I didn't realize that that was the uh, wrecking ball spider. I keep forgetting that's. Oh, nice, you guys are shooting. Hooray! I keep forgetting about the wrecking ball spider. 
shit, we need to get the hell away from this guy. Uh, we need to shoot this wrecking ball spider, that's what the plan is. He's gonna wreck somebody. Um... Eesh. Uh... Is this the one with the Artemis system, though? Or the, uh, not sorry, the, uh, arrow? I have no idea. Um, this guy's going on 18, huh? Reporting. Pretty good chances to hit on this guy. Let's take them. As you wish. He's probably going to go after one of the vehicles, but now that I've said that, probably won't. Uh, let's take these chances. Okay, two medium hits. We need to get our streaks on this guy. I don't think we're going to be ensuring that all the convoy units escape. Oh wait, did he not move? Did he not move? I don't know. Oh no, it looks like we still got some guys to go over, over that are over 18, so that's probably the case. Could have been this, well this guy's got 19. You're in 18. Can't proceed without your battle max commander. We're killing our engines until they return. What? I'm right here. Really? Okay. How about these guys get their lazy butts over here? I'm going to have to move a good distance, because if I don't, that guy's going to kill me. Um, let's do this. I know it's going to heat us up, but it'll give us some options, and we'll have some good evasion. Ah, man, I don't want to hit the... Okay, so the spider's already gone. Guts and tactics by two, cost to resolve. Gain guarded and trench, remove all instability damage. Let's hope we get better initiative. Let's just move into here. Oh, look at these chances to hit, man. I'm loving it. All right, let's hammer this guy. Nice. So how do we do here? Okay, we this guy's almost lost his leg. Okay, can we focus on this guy, please? Um... So he's kind of on a hill. Let's do this. Roger. Where I'm just really banking on, we got a leg shot with this guy. Oh yeah, look at this chance to hit. We're going to take everything, we're going to fire on him. Confirmed. Okay, there goes the leg, I think. Yep, beautiful. Reporting critical hit. Beautiful, that solves that problem. If we don't kill him this turn, oh he's done it. Oh he's only taking one one head hit. Sorry. Um, who is that's not moving because of? I guess the mongoose has to kind of move up into here. I wonder if we pull the ER large out of the mongoose. and drop it in with the LRMs. 
Huh. And I can't remember if this guy's got any missile slots. It might be better to put the LRMs in the and the um, ER large in this guy and remove the mediums and stuff and maybe put it in the kit fox because it's got more armored because it can we can get it in closer. I don't know. I got to think about this. I just don't think I've got enough extra weaponry yet to really outfit these mechs the way I want to. But we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we can get some parts off this spider. Okay, our next target is going to be this back helicopter here. Yeah, you guys just stay over there. Good stuff. Two energy and a ballistic. What would the ballistic be? What's the weight of this guy? No idea. Every time I, whenever I see this, automatically I'm thinking the, uh, the boomstick. I really hope that's not the case. I'm wondering if helicopters have got specific uh, close-range ballistic weapons. Come on. Waiting for the chopper. It's probably this guy we're waiting for right now. Um, it was. Ah, I gotta stop click right clicking on the map. I do it to deactivate stuff. Helium. Yeah. yeah. Move in now. Uh huh. Confirmed. All right. Let's just get you into here. We're going to be going before the other guy anyway. Uh, I'm going to do this as well. Just because she's moving pretty slow. Plus one initiative, that's it, eh? Alright, well, no big deal. Uh, let's shoot this chopper. Let's see if we can get this thing gone. Gone, girl. Fire everything. Yeah, baby. <laughs> that'll do, Helion. That'll do. All right, good work. Infiltrator. Uh, let's fire a maneuver. Gonna go after this other leg, see if we can claim it. Or we could just plaster him with a whole bunch of stuff and, you know, whatever. Wait, what's that? Where'd you come from? I'm confused. Mm-hmm. All right, Mongoose, you got to mop up this other chopper. Wait, are you the... Oh, you came from back there. Oh, well, hello. I'm here. Don't get too close to that guy. Let's back it up. Hi. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Wow. That guy's pretty darn maneuverable. Let's do this and turn these off. And fire. Okay, nice shots. Panicking. Dropped a load in his pants. So I think this helicopter is just hard to hit because of how far it moved. Let's hope it's just kind of like a Beagle Active Probe and a flamethrower. Shoot for the leg. Engine cr oh, he bailed! Yes! Thank you for that. Save me having to shoot at him. So I'm going on 24 next turn? Or was that this turn? That was this turn. So I think Goofy's the only one left here. Gonna get him around here and fire on this guy. 
All we need to do is hit with that large, and I think it should shred this thing. I could be wrong. Hopefully we can shoot the rotor off it. You know, I was just thinking about, I mentioned before, it would be kind of a cool idea to have a planet that you could call your home base and have storage that you could, so you could go there and drop stuff off. So we're not always carrying our mechs around with us and whatever. But it'd be kind of cool that if we were at that planet, uh, you could have a home base defense mission where it was like, you know, the enemy has come to attack you and if they destroy buildings, you're going to start losing some stuff. That might be that might be very very interesting and that I mean once again it's optional so it's an optional mission you can either take it or not take it just to see if you if if you can uh, fend off the enemy from destroying your base and destroying your stuff be kind of interesting and then you could rather than fielding uh, optional units it would just be extra mechs that you've got there. Or you could field more than two lances at your base, right? It would just automatically field the base defense, and then whatever some of the whatever the best weapons you have in storage that you have ammo for would go into the turrets. So that would be kind of cool too. But you know, commander. commander, can you get over here and see this guy by any chance? Can from up here, and yeah, we're gonna take that. I'm jumping. Yes, I am. You certainly are. Now. We go with everything. You, I? Yes. There goes the reinforcements. Kill for me. You got it, girl. All right. Let's just walk Goofy down to here. I'm wondering if it's because we have mechs behind them that they gave me the, hey, we're not going to move. You have order? Yeah, I need you down here to get these guys moving again. Please and thank you. Peas and carrots. Alright, so if we got reinforcements, they're probably going to be coming from up here. Looks like it's the same type of mission. So we need to position ourselves up in here, I think. Now, I could try and go up here, but I don't think we can get everybody up there in time. So these woods and these woods, I think, are going to be our primary defensive positions. We're going to get some support from the guys up there. They should be relatively in range. So we're, not, we're just going to move it. Actually, let's sprint it over. Actually, let's just move it. Once these guys get closer to getting out, we'll sprint into location uh, just so we have better um, evasion. What's the plan? Uh, let's just hold you there for a second. Oops. All right. All right, shoot. You're a little far away. So that looks like a a Jenner, and I don't know what. You're in position, Commander. Hold your ground until the package is on its way. But there's more salvage to be had. There is more salvage to be had. Um, okay, they're a good deal away. Where were they? Back here? Um, so, I don't know how long it's going to take them to get here. Let's move into here. Drop the alarms on and brace control a little bit of that heat mm -hmm. let's reserve you wait this truck went on 19 it didn't really move did it so let's just brace you here Roger. Venting heat and 
Oh, wait a minute. Is this blues? Yeah. It looks like that blue circle is from my commander. Question. Do these vehicles have to be within a certain range of my commanding vehicle? Dropship has arrived. It's a good thing the leopard's not using any weaponry to help us out or not. You know? I think he's got to be within range of my uh, commander, it looks like. That's interesting. Let's just do this. I'm gonna park right there. They should be able to move all the way out. Now I don't want to go ahead and engage these other mechs until our guys are gone here. I let them come to me a little bit. I know these these other vehicles give them another target, but I want to focus fire these guys down. Now they might have another unit other than the three, but it's unlikely. It's this guy back here I'm hoping moves. But I won't know till the next turn. Well, the Jenner is actually relatively speedy, so hopefully it'll get up here fast. And I'm, I have no idea what the other guys were. Maybe a Prana and a Mongoose or something. They can't, they're not that far away, so hopefully they're sprinting up here. I said hope. It doesn't necessarily mean they are, but... Let's get you down here. Goofy's got the bap, so we'll know how, if they get uh, close fast. Let's just move to their embrace. Okay, just gonna embrace it. The coolant system should already be engaged. I'm not exactly sure why you're re-engaging it, but whatever. Whatever. Goofy. Where the hell are you going? Nice. Hey, finally coming down to help. That's nice. Wonder if they're all going to get on the dropship and leave. Well, thanks for the help, guys. See you later. What? <laughs> you leaving us here by ourselves? There we go. Mobile HQ. Move it. What might be kind of cool is if they had a mobile HQ in every single one of these escort units that we needed to get our uh, escort missions. And if the mobile HQ dies, then the uh, mission fails. But the enemy won't fire on the mobile HQ as long as you have them engaged. So you have to engage all of the enemy units to keep them from destroying the mobile HQ. And, you know, give the mobile HQ a bit more weapons and some better armor. Commander? Yeah, just sit there. Alright, Goofy, just move back here. Have no doubt it will be done. You don't have a choice. We'll just shoot you in the back if you decide not to fight. You're being paid for, buddy. All right, um, let's back it up a little bit. Make sure these guys move out. I'm worried about this truck here. If he decides he's going to go around, he might get out of my range here. I think we'll be okay, though. I understand why now this guy's blocking the road here.
Come on. You can do it. So we don't have much salvage right now. A couple choppers worth and the spider with the wrecking balls. I haven't decided wh whether I'm going to go into melee with these guys yet. I probably should. Yeah. I know I didn't do. I don't know. I, I know I didn't do melee with my last uh, clan series, but maybe if we get some inner sphere mechs, I might allow for uh, some melee weapons. I'm going to run loosey goosey on this one. I'm not going to just fix myself into a specific play style. I mean, we might. It might flesh out later on in the in the, in later in the series and stuff what I want the definite playstyle to be, but um, when we were playing the last uh, version of Rogue Tech, we, I had already kind of determined what my playstyle was, and I had lots of experience with it, so I knew what could and couldn't be done, yes, um, and what was going to feel okay, but with this one I haven't quite figured that out yet, so. Yes, Commander. Just, we haven't spotted them yet, so you just do that. Let's get these guys out of here first, and then we'll go claim our salvage. I think I want to try and pull that Jenner down as fast as possible. I'm really looking forward to the next, like the first mech we get. I know we got two parts of several different mechs. I don't think you really need to go anywhere. You can just stay right there. I think we've got a Kit Fox and um, two Kit Fox pieces, and we've got two, um, ah, I can't remember the name of the damn thing now. Anyway, we're close on two Clan Max anyway. I'm very tempted to drop one mech out of service. Yeah, you just sit there and wait. Come on, sprint up here, guys. At least these little turns here are going pretty quick. I I'm going to back up a little bit more. Let's go a couple more here. Try and give these guys some uh, reason to move a little faster, maybe. I don't think you guys need to move though. Roger, I'll just have to move you back up that way anyway. Here. I want whatever first vehicle or, me or first mech that shows up here to be pasted by everybody. And hopefully it's one of the junky lighter mechs like the 20 tonners. Just so we can rip everything, rip its armor off and kill it. And then we can focus on that Jenner. Although I'm concerned, we were making 102,000, and our drop costs were like 78 or something like that. So we're only making a little over 20,000 on this. So I got to be very careful. I don't want to lose. Um, I don't want to have to lose a lot of that profit off of uh, having to repair armor and components. Well, the components aren't so bad. I mean, we can always replace them. With stuff that we've already got, but I, do, I just don't want to lose stuff here. I'm, listening. I'm gonna back you up over here a little bit. Roger that. Back it up, back it up. Reporting. Now you don't have any components to activate, so the Beagle Active Probe is probably always active. So we should be getting blips, hopefully, when those guys get close. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. Dallas. Okay, almost done here. Then we're going out to those mechs. Come on. Just move out. You know you want to. You know you want to. Allied turn. Who is it that's moving? Oh. Yeah. Just 
hang out. I wonder how fast those guys are moving back there. Do they have a clear path? That's the well they do, because they I think they were dropped off over here, weren't they? I'm pretty sure they were. So they must be coming along here, maybe, or here. I don't know. I have to go search them out. Um Let's just reserve. I think this guy will be moving out and then we can move forward. We're just gonna reserve and then we'll move up to get things moving a little quicker. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there, guy. You can do it. There you go. That's all of them in there now, right? 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 Five and five? Yep. All right. Just going to move f forward uh, very slowly to start here, with the exception of you. Full Commander? Coordinates received. Okay, not picking up anything. Get that BAP up here. Not a lot of cover up here, but I think we're better off. I don't know. The objective is secured, Commander. Man, we ain't going nowhere. Get to the evac zone. How kind of command is that, dude? Okay, now the question is, if they spawn back here, they must be moving up this way. Chances are they're not going to come this way. So let's go up here and get in the trees up here. I'm here. I think that's the route we want to go. Roger. I think that's the way we want to go. Plus, we don't want to go too far forward. we got to get our initiative back up again. We're being penalized this turn, so for reserving so much. I like how they did that, so you don't get the double, uh, the double um, attack, where you're the old the old uh, tactic, the battle tech tactic, is you reserve right back to, to uh, turn one, and then fire, and then you go again on turn four. I'm glad they removed that in Rogue Tech. Or didn't remove it, but did their, their did their best to eliminate it as best they could. All right, let's get right up here. Oh, jammer affected, sensors affected. Uh, does that mean we're under an ECM? Possibility. Let's get the Beagle Active probe up here. All right, not spotting anything. I think they're probably walking and moving in. Yes, Commander. I wonder if I should reinstall this and remove the extra large map sizes. Alright, nothing. Let's get Goofy going first. Plan is for you to move up here. Be there in a jet. Still nothing, eh? I bet you they're just sitting back there. I bet you they are. Engaging jump jets. 
Nothing, huh? Yeah, they're sitting back there. They are sitting back there. Yeah. Come on, girls, sprint your ass up here. I got it. Don't think. Don't shoot. Just run. No, you need all three, please. Not the best place for an LRM mech, but we are behind a hill up here, so we're okay. Still nothing. Come on, give me a contact. Nothing. Infiltrator. Engaging jump jets. Still nothing. Right here. Yeah, I might go ahead and reinstall and determine um like I like I like the idea behind the big maps, but I think for these earlier matches, where it's just all lights on lights, I, I don't think it's really adding anything. Still nothing? They're just standing back there, I think. You know, I'm kind of liking the fact that we've got the LRMs on here rather than the Goss. The Goss is nice for heavy pinpoint damage, especially against Light Max. But if we're not getting a good chance to hit with it every every single time we're using it, you're better off going with the LRM, so at least you're doing some damage every turn. And it's way lighter, like you can fit way more LRMs on than you can a, uh, a Goss rifle. I know the Clan Goss rifles are only 12 tons, but... Still with two tons of ammo, it's like, you know, 14 tons. All right. Um, I think we max it out. Stay behind this rock. Okay, there they are. Yeah, they didn't even move. Urban Mac, RM5. No idea what this guy is, but I've been warned about Urban Max. They could be devastating, so let's make sure we clean this guy up fast if we can. Oof. They just sat there. I wonder if it's because they couldn't see anybody. I don't like not being in the trees, but let's get up here. Get as many side shots in this guy as we can. 72 with the ER large. Loving that. Okay, two good hits. Yeah, thanks for showing up, guys. Thanks for showing up. I love the idea of the large map sizes. It's kind of cool. Having two lances, kind of cool. But they got to really work on the AI. And that's fine. It'll get there. We got heavy metal coming out on the 21st. I'm not sure how that's going to affect Rogue Tech, but I won't be installing heavy metal until uh, Rogue Tech gets updated. Like I said, I like Battle Tech. I do. I just don't think it's got the uh, the punch that um, Rogue Tech has. This is really the way I think the game should be. So I probably won't play heavy metal at all. 
and I'll just continue this series um, without installing heavy metal until they get an update for uh, Rogue Tech. Most likely they'll end up breaking saves, but we'll go as long as we can for sure. Okay, so we got a Jenner, and what was this guy? A Falcon, eh? Now, I can't remember if we picked up any Urban Mech parts, but if we did, I mean, I don't particularly want an Urban Mech, but, you know, we'll take what we can get at this point. Yeah, yeah I want you up here. Uh -huh. Oh, geez, you can't even hit the Urban Mech. You can from here, though, with the large at 15%. Oh, we can from here, too. 27% with the large. Let's just get into there. Yep. Falcon's 46, but I want to try and pull this guy down fast. So let's fire on him. He's got two ballistic, so most likely it's a heavy and a light rifle. So help. Don't you give me that so help me. You're provided with plenty of opportunities. Yeah, I think he's got a heavy and a light rifle. That's an interesting option, though. If we picked up that urban mech with two ballistic hard points, what would we put on it? All right. Um, ooh. Now we can side shoot this urban mech. Three energy and a missile hard point. Three energy and a close range ballistic. Let's go after the Jenner. A little bit of a uh, little bit of splash damage on the other Falcon there. That's kind of cool. The other three guys will go after the Irby here. That's a side shot. We'll take the side. He's giving it to us. Let's take it. And we're going to overheat. Let's take off one medium. Fire. Copy that, Commander. Beautiful. Periphery rifle, yeah. Wow. Roger. Let's get up in here. I want the Jenner, but right now we'll take the Falcon Falcon from behind. And that just sounds wrong, but whatever. Yeah, no leg attacks. Well, I guess it's okay. Freaking out a little bit, probably. That guy's just doing a little dance. The left and right dance. Where are you going? He's running. They're running. Probably trying to avoid being flanked. Mm-hmm. Try to avoid being flanked. Uh-huh. Yeah, we can't have her in this mech. It's too slow. We'll figure it out, though. Here goes Good hits. Infield today, Tor. All right. Wait, we did a lot of hits on this guy. Why didn't it... Was it the Falcon that we hit? What? That's what you call a kill, uh-huh. I wonder if they all hit this guy. Or maybe I mistargeted. That's highly high probability. Alright. Go. God, you had that... Beautiful chance to kill that guy, and you couldn't even do it.
Um, take the five off. Eesh. Well, that was the 15 we took off. We're going to fire with these three, though. Ah, God. Let's go this route. BC energy destroyed. He, go, he goes before us. Oh, beautiful. You missed. Nice. Okay, now can we get Helion onto the side of that guy? I'm listening. We can. Full speed sounds good. Uh huh. Okay. Oh shoot, that's the other leg. Left. Ah oh, man, my directions. There you go. Well, I'll just shoot him. Try to make him panic. Okay, buddy. Gonna do this. And this, and this, and this, and see if we can leg them. Let's leave this off. And fire. Think so. No damage detected. Oh, the AMS. Waiting for orders. Wait, what's up with this? Let's catch this guy's last rain check. You just cast your last rain check. Looks like I lead a mission. Nope, we're going home. Mission successful. Excellent. Okay, contract payment payment increased by twenty percent. So we made forty seven thousand instead of twenty two, which is awesome. Uh ah, minor experience, but whatever, I can't do much about that. All right, now we don't have any parts of any of these mechs. Let's see what we got down here, though. We got five pieces of salvage. Case. Uh, cockpit clan. One to gunnery. I'm going to take that because I think the... One of our mechs could use it. What's this? Offensive push ACC. Clan targeting computer. That's the advanced fire control system. Okay. Clan double heat sink. Let's take that. Radical prototype double heat sink kit. That's a possibility. Problem is we don't have any prototype double heat sinks to go with it. How much is it worth? 432. Not that much, eh? We didn't get any cores, did we? Standard fusion engines. Um, huh, interesting. Oh, we did up here. Okay, 240. Let's take that. Pirate engine, eh? 111,000. We could take this for the uh, sea bills. But I don't know if I want to go sea bills right yet. I got a feeling spike wrecking balls. 12 times 5 for a heavy rocket launcher. It's not bad. 0.5 tons. Yeah. Three medium lasers. I like these bundlings. It's kind of nice. Uh, I wonder if we take the Jenner part. It is a clan Jenner. At 35 tons, I think we can't not take that. So we've got a core. Bonus cockpit for gunnery. I don't know. I mean, it is okay. 
But I think right now we've all kind of got close to that already. Ah, you know what though? I think we need to take it. I don't I think one of our mechs is gonna need it. Poor jump jets. Plus two offensive push. Uh Ignores cover and guarded on the target when firing a single weapon, breaching shot. So that could be for, what's her name? Helion. Yeah, I, I mean, Heavy Pharaoh would be nice too. On lighter max, it would save more weight, but... Um, We need to. Uh, I gotta take the clan double heatsink because if we lose one in combat, we don't, I don't have any way to replace it. So let's take this because for backups. But I mean, we got we're gonna have lots of other in the roll here. We'll have a good good amount in the roll here to see what we get. All right, we got all the mech parts. That's awesome. Heavy rifle, which is sellable. Spike wrecking ball, we'll hang on to. Primitive armor, will be will be selling. We'll hang on to the case. Basic cockpit can go. The seventy core. I don't know. Standard, regular heat sinks, we can probably sell those. Spike light books we'll hang on to. Primitive sensors can go. Spike fist we can hang on to. Okay, so not bad. Let's have a look here. We're gonna, our pilots are going to be back in six days or so. So we're going to uh, have a look at our mech. So no damage at all on us, which is fantastic. It's really what we needed. Uh, mech bays, let's have a look here. So uh, where are you here? Firefly, let's refit this. We've got a standard fire control system on here right now. Got the range finder for plus one gunnery. 60 base size distance. Now I think we should take that off and put that on the on Goofy's mech. Now, because this mech is so slow, right? The Firefly. So let's go into here. Fire control system advanced, we want to do. Um and the clan cockpit for a plus one gunnery. This is for Helion. This is going to help her out a fair bit. And I think we should be able to... Are we max, completely maxed armor on this? We are. So we can't add any more weight on this mech at all. But, you know, we're only missing 0.5 or 0 .0, 0 0.05 tons. So I think we're okay here. Guardian ECM. All right. So let's confirm this. It's 1,000 in one day. Okay. Um, Jenner, let's put the uh, we want the no, we want to leave the Art Artemis fire control system in here. I don't think there's anything else that we can put in right now. We're checking the armor. Now, I don't know if I can go um, is it shift plus? Yeah, we're still overweight, so we can't add even one point of armor. I think it's the feral fibers doing it, right? So we can't add anything to here, but, you know, don't got much much weight remaining anyway. Um, I think that's it for this guy. Okay. Um... Uh, Mongoose. Let's get that rangefinder in here. Okay, standard SLDF. I don't know if we want to switch. Oh, no, that's the... Am I thinking the cockpit? What do we got here? SLDF cockpit. One to piloting, one to tactics. Now, do we want to switch that out with the rangefinder? That's the question. So the rangefinder gives us 60 base sight distance. Is that going to be more of an advantage, though? It's a hard question to answer. Do I want the tactics or do I want sight distance? Let's go with sight distance first. Being able to spot the enemy earlier is probably a better idea. And there's nothing else. It's five. This is pretty much the same, I think. 
Yeah, it looks like it's a, pretty much the same. So let's confirm that. Right. I'll get it in the and the Kit Fox. I don't think there's anything we need to adjust on this guy, but let's have a quick look here real quick. Um, be nice having another jump shot. Oh, the armor. I uh, wonder if we can... Oh, we can. Center back, probably. I don't know why I'm doing it this way. Whatever. <sighs> sure. All right, now there's nothing else we can add. So I think we're good here. Clan Pharaoh gives us case already. Don't have any case two. Now, do we have, what's our weapons here? Now, I'm going to leave the three ER mediums on here because we were using them really well here. We don't have any more ERs anyway. Yeah, we're still like really low on weaponry. These MRMs are nice, but they're weighty right now, right? So it's like five, seven tons for this guy. Uh, so let's confirm this. All right. So those are working away. Um, we're going to leave the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If it did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. Let's manage our tasks a bit better here. Actually, that's fine. Um, yeah, until next time, we'll see everybody later.